guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 different ways that you could find monologues for your college auditions or just auditions in general. And if you haven't found a monologue yet, I highly recommend you watch this entire video. So first, I'm going to be going over some important general information and I will start the tips at this time. So if you're planning on finding material for musical theater college auditions, you're most likely going to need at least one contemporary and one classical monologue. But if you're auditioning for theater, you're going to need two contemporary and two classical monologues. And you want your monologues to be contrasting, so you want one to be dramatic and one to be comedic. And if you're doing theater and you have the four, they should all contrast. I would recommend for your classical monologues have one dramatic and one comedic, and the same thing for your contemporary. And something to note is you want it to be an active monologue. They really have to have an objective, and it shouldn't be a monologue where they're just telling somebody a story of something that happened, and it shouldn't be them pondering something because that's not active, it's not interesting. You want a clear objective, something that they want. And for more things that you should avoid, definitely check out my video with things you should avoid when choosing material. And when choosing your monologue, I really recommend going for a character that is somebody you could be cast as, somebody you're similar to. Especially because for college auditions, they want to see you because you are the person that they are letting into their program, not this character. So you have to let them get to know you in just a short period of time when you're in the audition room. So really finding something you can relate to is very important. And I talk about making material more personalized in my how to act a song and monologue video. So definitely check that out. I think it's going to be very helpful. You also want to read the entire play so you can know the character and so you can understand the circumstances of the monologue that you're performing. And it is very possible that they could ask you questions about your monologue and about the play in the audition room. So being prepared for that is really important because you don't want to look bad if they ask you a question and you have no answer. So the tips for how to find monologues. These are in no specific order, so watch all of them because they're all very helpful. The first thing is go to my website. Now on my website, I have a ton of different links of plays you should read. I also have a few cuts of monologues that you should look into. So read the description of these monologues and see if any of them pique your interest. Next is the Backstage website. If you go on their website and you click more, and then you go to the monologuer. You can choose from a variety of options and find a monologue that fits your needs. You can also find plays on the dramatist's play service. That's a hard word to say. If you go to menu, you can browse plays by the title, by the author, and by many different categories. The Samuel French website or the Concord Theatricals is also another great place that you can find plays to read. If you go to menu and then plays and hit explore the collection, then you can filter through different categories and find what you want. The library is another great place to find plays. You can also ask your theater teacher. Chances are they have a lot of plays that you can read through. It's also possible that you might be able to find some PDFs of some plays, and you can also find the performances of some plays on YouTube. Another thing you can do is ask for recommendations from your theater or acting teacher or from friends or people who just went through the musical theater or theater audition process because chances are they have some suggestions. So another thing you can do is just skim play. So you know, just kind of like look through the pages and see if there are any large chunks of text. Now monologues aren't always just a chunk of text Sometimes it is back and forth between two characters. You just take out the other side, but monologues are often just chunks of text. So if you skim through and you find a chunk of text, then it's a lot easier than having to read the entire play and then find you the chunk of text. Another thing you can do is just read plays with one character or like two characters. I mean, if it's one person, the whole thing is a monologue. So. You can just pick out your favorite part and use that. And if it's two people, I mean, the same thing. Shows with very few characters are gonna be much easier to find large chunks of text. Another thing you can do is work with a college audition coach or an acting coach because an acting coach can give you recommendations of place to look into. And then you can find monologues that way. If you work with college audition coaches, they can find specialized material not only for monologues but also for singing for you. 
So I'll leave some links in the description of college audition coaches. And then the last thing you can do is watch people's theater reels online, or you can watch their pre-screens that they turned into colleges to find monologues that you like. So the pros and cons to this, the pro is you don't have to buy a play to hear and see these different monologues, but the con is it might take a while to find something you like because you know you have to go through so many and you also have to you know find somebody who's similar to you in casting type so it's not like a monologue that just doesn't fit you at all but that's definitely an idea and once you have created a list of some plays that you want to look into go on to amazon and you can buy them second hand and get them for a lot cheaper and you can always just resell them afterwards if you don't end up liking them and then once you've found some monologues that are definitely possible options, I recommend taking pictures of the pages and then uploading it to a Google folder. So you have material in one place and if you ever need material, you can just go into that folder and find it really easily. And when it comes to practicing your monologues, I recommend using the app called Lines. It makes it much easier to learn monologues or just lines for a show in general. But something to keep in mind when you are memorizing these lines you should be doing it in a monotone voice. You shouldn't have any inflection in your voice because if you practice it like you're performing it while you're still learning it, you're going to get in the habit of saying lines the same way each time because one, that's not really real acting. And two, if you're in the audition and they ask you to make a change to how you said it, it'll be much harder to make that change if you practice the same exact way of saying it so many times. And just keep in mind, if they do ask you to say a monologue a different way, think of it as a fun thing because I think that's fun. And they're not asking because they think it's bad. They just want to see if you can take direction because that's really important. So that's all the tips that I have. Hopefully you feel a little bit better about how you're going to find your monologues. And yes, you're going to have to most likely read a few plays to find your monologue. And that's not the end of the world, you know? And if you found this helpful, definitely like the video. Definitely subscribe because I have a lot of videos coming out. And ask me any questions you have. If you have any video ideas that you want me to make, leave them below and have a wonderful day. Bye.